Hi, it's me, Pam Benny. I thought I'd continue a little bit more on making these Aran McNally or Golden Telltale books that are, little, that are a little smaller than a little golden book. And I showed you how I took a, uh, this book apart and made the spine. And this book is all in one signature, so all you have to do is put your other pages in it. But there are also some, well... If, if they have the staples, you know, then it's all going to be just the one signature, like so. But then they are some of these Rand McNally's that are like this, where they are, oops, I'm sorry, you know, kind of in the book like that. So I will kind of get it ready to pull apart, like pulling this, like this one. The uh, signatures are in this little binding here. And I also will number them because this can be a bit of a challenge if you want your book to be in order. So I did number the pages and you can see that they're in here. See? So you can Try to flatten that out. And try to cut this. Cut it apart. Like that. And do it along here too. You don't want to cut through to the spine, of course. your book then let's see here they're a bit glued together so now it doesn't always work this way but if you can find the two signatures pull them away you've got your pages numbered but if you want one signature and you want the story to go together see they're they're glued so that's what I mean by this can be challenging if you want your book in order And that's why I'm saying the stapled ones are easier. I did do some like this, but you're going to have to piece them together. Because they're glued. Yep, basically, they are going to be 
glued. So now that one's okay. That's six and seven and eight. And then I try to not put the numbers that I numbered not too close to the edge or the bottom because when you trim it up a little bit to fit in here, you don't want to cut off the number. So that's why this can be challenging. So you're just going to have to take it apart and see. I think I would keep these. Nope, see, they're not in the right order. So, one, two, three, four. This is going to have to come off and be pieced. So, that's one, two, three. This has to be pieced together. with washi so your whole book you're gonna have to go through basically and use washi uh, maybe sew them together etc But I just thought, well, I better come on and show you because if they're not, you have a copy that's not stapled in and you want your book in order, this it will be more time consuming with these books. So then, there's your one. I have numbered one, two, three. And then you could put another, you know, do like you would any other book, you know, put your pages in, you know, and then keep going. Now I gotta find five. There's five and six and seven and eight and those are together and then what do we got we got nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and this has this gluing here so that will have to be pieced together and you've got another page Okay, what do we have here? We have 12, 13, aren't they cute though? 12, 13. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14. But then we have this random 9 and 10. So what I would do is I would just get a different book page and nine ten. I would just attach a book page. I think I will I have to cut it. So it's possible to do these. It's just a little fiddling around that you have to do. But I thought oh, I better just uh, finish showing how it all works. Cute. cute little illustrations, so cute. This has to be evened up here. Here too, so we've got nine, ten, and then another just little book page. A little fiddly, but doable. And then nine, ten. Also, what you're going to need to do then is you'll have to cut down your pages. And sometimes I just do it singly just because and I would cut this off first, of course, and then to fit in here. This one it's about uh, not quite four and a half, so I think I'd probably cut it down to four and a fourth. So then I would four and a fourth across. Looks like nothing would really get cut there. A little bit. Some things just can't be helped, though. I mean, if you have writing, you try not to. So here's four and a four. And then when that's in the book, after you've cut it, and then I've been doing one inch spines. One signatures. So 
So you're going to have a little bit of room here. And then you'll figure out your length and you'll have to trim all your pages too. And this is six and a half. So let's go six and a fourth. And I'll kind of look to see if I took from here. It's not going to cut anything off. This, this is six and a half. I think that's fine in there. I don't think I'm going to. Well, maybe I'll just. I think it'll be fine. I don't think I need to because there's a little bit there and a little bit here. But if you had to, then just look at every page and see. You know, you might want to take a sliver off the top, sliver off, sliver off the bottom, and a sliver off the top, just to make it fit. So that's what you would have to do, and then you would go about how I. You know, cut this off and attached it to the spine and the fabric and the Tyvek. But I just thought I would uh, show you the different types of books that you might run across and how they are attached. So, so far we've got one, two, three, and then, you know, of course you put your other pages. And then you have five, six, seven, eight. Then you have nine, ten, and a different page that you've attached. This is eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So that's what we have so far. And then you would, you know, do all your trimming and you know, just put it in your book like you would any other. But I just thought I'd show you that because if they, um, you know, some have the staples, which are a lot easier, and then some are glued into here. So I've shown you um, how to do both of those. So I hope it was helpful, and thanks so much for watching. You have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.